Born on April 27, 1822, in Point Pleasant, Ohio, Ulysses S. Grant was the great-grandson of a veteran of the French and Indian War, the grandson of a veteran of the American Revolution, and the son of a Republican abolitionist who made his living manufacturing leather goods. When Ulysses was a boy, he became fascinated by a horse owned by a local farmer. His father, Jesse Root Grant, allowed him to buy the animal, presented his son with $25, and said, Listen, offer the man $20 for the colt. If he says no, then you can offer $25. Now, unfortunately, it seems that he took his father's words a little bit too literally, as during the transaction he said to the owner, My dad says to offer you $20, and if you won't take that, I can give you $25. As a result, the local kids gave him the nickname of Useless Grant instead of Ulysses. He said to have shown very little promise in his youth, which gave people a highly inaccurate impression that he wouldn't amount to much later on in life. By the time Ulysses was in his teens, Jesse was a noteworthy individual both in business and in politics. From 1837 to 1839, he served as the mayor of Georgetown, Ohio. Through his political connections, he was able to acquire a place in the United States Military Academy at West Point for his 17-year-old son. Ulysses was completely unaware of the fact that he'd been enrolled in the class of 1839, until a letter arrived at the Grant family home, bringing news of his acceptance. When he caught wind of this surprising new development, he initially refused to attend the prestigious academy. However, his father strongly insisted, and Ulysses reluctantly obeyed his orders. His apprehension to attend West Point wasn't necessarily because he didn't want to go, it was more to do with the fact that he didn't think he could make the grade. He's even quoted as saying, I would have been glad to have had a railroad collision, or any other accident happen by which I may have received temporary injury sufficient to make me ineligible to attend the academy. But nothing of the kind occurred, and I had to face the music. Due to an administrative error regarding his initials, he was listed as Ulysses S. Grant instead of Ulysses H. Grant. His classmates, however, were really impressed that his initials were the same as the United States, or like Uncle Sam, and began referring to him as Sam Grant. The vast majority of the senior generals during the Civil War actually trained and studied alongside Grant during his time at West Point. This list includes William Tecumseh Sherman, James Longstreet, George B. McClellan, Philip Sheridan, George Meade, Stonewall Jackson, Jeb Stewart, and Robert E. Lee. Although Grant was an average student, he took a keen interest in map-making classes. He was very good at mathematics, and he especially excelled in horsemanship. It was even said that he possessed the rare ability to tame any horse that he came into contact with. Upon the class's graduation on July 1st of 1843, Grant was assigned to the 4th Infantry Regiment under the rank of Brevet 2nd Lieutenant. He reported for duty at Jefferson Barracks in St. Louis, Missouri. While stationed in Missouri, he travelled regularly to a town called Whitehaven to visit the family estate of a friend of his named Frederick Dent, who was a former roommate of Grant's at West Point. Now ironically, Whitehaven is an all too accurate name for the Dent's hometown, as for a slave owning family, their estate certainly wasn't a black haven. Over the course of Grant's visit to the Dent household, he fell in love with Frederick's sister Julia, and the couple announced their engagement in 1844. Now as Grant came from an abolitionist background, the fact that Julia's family were slave owners didn't exactly go down well with the Grant family who weren't best pleased with their son's decision to marry against their morality, a morality that Jesse had hoped he'd managed to pass down to Ulysses. In 